Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Arte, seja bem vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. E no vídeo de hoje são os melhores momentos dos jogos profissionais de CS. Eu sei que você curte, mas 70% das pessoas que assistem os vídeos aqui no canal todos os dias não são inscritos. É isso mesmo. Então, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, deixa o like. E lembrando que dá muito trabalho trazer todos os dias os melhores momentos, tudo mastigadinho pra você assistir. É bom, né? Então, deixa de enrolação, vamos ao que interessa, são os melhores momentos. Fui. Alex waiting for a flanker, which may never come. In the meantime, that smoke has to go. Before the action really hots up, we've got flashes being held by the CT side as well. And here comes the swing, so far so good. Makeda doing what he can, but only Woxwick and Kalex remain now. Two on three for Eternal Fight. That bomb continues to tick. Safe's got the defuse kit, and now Kalex is alone. Bad range for the Glock as well, and Brennazan will put him out of his misery. Pistol goes to MIBR. Oh, there's Zantares. Always the one to look out for, although Acadia is making a strong argument in that regard. Swinging onto the site now. Does anybody else pick up the slack from Zantares? That rifle needs to be collected as well. How concerned these CTs are. Missing Calix for a second. He was able to deliver on safe. Renazan and drop remain. Two on two. Bomb LaPlot is just getting with Acadia. That's the last rifle lost. Let's get that bomb down. If he could do that, they could force it again in the next, even if he loses. Honestly, he's gonna give himself a chance to win this clutch in the one on two. Clean bomb plant for it. Went to collect a rifle. It will be the FAMAS for him. Much better in CS2, it feels like. Saw an elbow. Tries to fight his 1v1, rings the bell. But that won't be enough. Done the same here for that scope at range. Meanwhile, a ramp. Oh, Ooh, players already passed. Can be on Enazan. Wasn't ready for them. Oh, he went back to the well one too many times there. Drop holding a tight angle. Good headshot opportunity for him, but it won't work in his favor on this occasion. Five on three for Eternal Fire. This is a great start to round four for them. Plenty of time as well to exploit these CTs who need to find a way back into this round. Risks have to be taken, be it a gamble stack on one bomb site or a daring push. They stand and wait. Their odds aren't good for them. And Sardi gets caught out, and that will be the round over. Kalex already up in position. Something Insani maybe wasn't ready for after there was some earlier action on A. Oh, and it won't be checked. Oh, still awkward sometimes because you're sliding when you've got that three-man boost. But Exit got that first dig. Had to get the second shot through the wall, but it works out for him. How's Are they going? Ares? I don't know if they're ready for this man so far up. Yeah, that rifle is, I was going to say, is not going to be collected. I wasn't expecting Drop to come through with that P250. And this is not going the way Eternal Fire were expecting. The big gun taken down. Insani looking for the first contact. But he hasn't spotted Major, and that means Safe could be in trouble. Nice headshot connected. They're trying to transfer up top. Kalix looking to help, but he's just going to have to get that bomb down. And another nade kill for Eternal Fire. They're bringing this back. Can't reach that rifle yet. That's a great trade. Insani took one for the team. Protect the VIP. Drop 17 HP. Has to be quick. He's got to land a headshot. Major will make it very, very difficult. Just one bullet anywhere required for Major. But Drop has to find his face. Drop's carrying a kit also. Smoke on the bomb. Conceded his position. It'll be easy at the end for Major, who gets his first kills in the round. In the game, rather, in that round. Dragging this round out with these smoke grenades. Can he find an angle in Sani? Looks like he can. Looking for the trade fragger, collecting Woxic as well. Major's got a tough job here. He's carrying the bomb. If he goes for a duel and loses, that could be the round. Walking into a trap because there's Exit to collect him immediately. A great trade. Now Zantares has got oh, oh so much work to do, but that's a weird gap in the smoke. And that jump is enough for Zantares. The robot is back. One on four, made three. Over a minute on the clock for Zantares to find some more isolated fights. You can see how far back safe is playing, but he's been seen as well. 41 HP. It's a terrifying game. Net is closing, beeps the herd. Drops in position as well. Brennazan coming in from the back, but who peeks first? There's safe drop. Santara is not expecting Brennazan from the stairs, though. Too many man on road. CT secure another one.
Go, go, go! CS, go fast! Let's roll. Thank you. It looks like they have decided to come back to B, which has probably been the more action bomb site so far. Don't see that too often on Vertigo, but exit swings. Insani looking for the follow up. He's stuck up close, but it doesn't matter. He's got both those kills. Oh, he thought about going for more. Didn't realize Antares would be here. Ooh. That is a stunner, but how much more can he get? That was such a fast peek. A quick snap. Insani looking real nice. Copy of the smoke clear of wow. the HP. Didn't quite work out there for Brenner's and conceded his position. Zantares doesn't need to see him in the moment. Oh, drop didn't realize Vakadia could be so close, and this is gonna be an expensive round for MIBR. They are surrounded on this A bomb site. People on the ramp, people on the side. Oh, Safe is just sending it, elevated over the smokes. They knew Acadia was there. They gave that, up, that one away for free. I don't know what else there is to pursue in this round now for MIBR. They can't afford these losses. Oh, oh, they're lining up for Insani. He's found two so far. Two on three. That bomb's not even planted just yet. He's buying time with the incendiary as well. I'm so surprised they came back to B here after all those kills on A. Insani might have given his team a chance now. Gave his teammate the flashes to come in and swing. He spots Antares, but the trade is instant. Walks it coming to life now, finally. Exactly when he needs to. Does exit no. Uh, Woxic's the only man on the site, but Wakadia's rotated pretty quickly, actually. Running distraction with those shots through the smoke. He finds Woxic, but can't finish him off. A much needed third round for Eternal Fire. You have to be ready on this angle. Wow, apparently Drop has to be ready. Wakadia is already up into the soundbags. Round after round, MIBR are just getting caught by Eternal Fire. I think they know they can take liberties just going for these aggressive peaks and catching MIBR off guard time and again, but this time MIBR seem to be holding for the time being at least. Perhaps now the round will finally slow down, maybe not because Major's dueling in CT spawn, but Insani wins that duel. 4v2 makes things significantly difficult for Eternal Fire now on the cusp of tying the score. They know Insani's that B anchor though, so they realize the B site is likely clear and they're at least going to get the bomb down. That they will. Utility will force them from their positions to some degree. Walks it covering the back of Kalix, but who's got the stairs in the meantime? That'll be a concern as this continues. Two flashes in the hands of Exit. One for Woxic as well. That counter flash might be well timed. Kalix finds two and makes it real easy for Woxic. Where is that last player though? Renazan, there he is, and he makes it look simple. Very nice for Woxic. Score is tied at half time. Hey, there, he could get mollied if he's not careful. Is there going to be anywhere to stand? Oh, here come two of them. How do you respond to this? Well, wakadia has got a certain idea. Maybe MIBR don't break ground on this bomb site. Renazan's got other ideas, though. Two back for him. Three on three now. The plan has been executed, but a bomb has not been planted just yet. Smokes are up. Time to get that down urgently. Safe moves into position. And they wait. Mage has got a smoke. There's no kit for these three players. But they're all here. These Glocks are close range now. We'll have plenty of opportunity to land some headshots. A quick reload as Brenazan tries to cover. Shows some shoulder. Kalix is dropped in isolation, but Major will get some revenge. And suddenly it's dropping a one versus two. Needs to isolate these fights. Needs to land the headshots. Needs to not be static. He is dancing left and right. There's a first and a second. Wonderful work from him. Isolates the fights and takes the pistol. Yeah, a little cheeky here, but they don't have a flash to pop through. They're just going to run through instead. Kalix will collect the first one, but maybe the trades will be worth it. They're on the bomb site now in a three on three. They've got two smokes as well, that might be up. And Zentaras and Woxnik are taking heavy damage, but they've got an exit for it. And now Safe is alone. 20 seconds on the clock, bomb lost on the B bomb site. Might be our start to make their way forward. They've got those angles now if they want to execute on the bomb site, but it will be flashes and a swing. Woxic trying to defend. He's got help from Zantares as well, but here comes that utility. Although there's none left for MIBR, and it might not be enough for them to 
get the space they want to make a bomb plot here. Four CTs first into three of them. They have managed to get that plot, but at what cost? Down they fall one by one, leaving Brennazan versus the world. They need to get more damage on these CTs. They've got to keep them spending their money. Major goes in first. Antares trades immediately, though. Three standing at the end of the round as the score is tied. I'll try and see if they can get that bomb down. Boxer can let off again. Continue to rattle off. Arcadia boosted up. Target practice for the CTs. Although there's a chance for it might be up. Four on four now. Three of those four with Tech Nines. Can they swing and give space for Brennazan? He might need to pick up more than one. A lot of weight on the shoulders of that AK-47. Oh dear, okay. No harm done. Brennazan will be the point man then. He's the one without armor, one of the two. That diffuse is coming in, in that smoke, trying to find an angle, but they won't get there. Bomb diffused in the smoke, a turn of fire, keep on rolling. Oh, it doesn't catch in Sani, that is a big loss, and they've really got to think about how much they want to throw at this. If Woxit goes down, that might be the round. The smoke will keep him alive for now. Drops position though is good, but look at them falling on both sides. Oh, Take a 5 HP. There's no bomb plot. They'll win by timeout. This could be deadly. Santoros is just out here in an off angle, but Brennazan says no. Delivering when he really needs to. Backs to the wall for MIBR. HE's into CT. Wakadia threatening to do something devastating. He made his win around a good line up for it, but he gets nothing from it. Wokstick versus four. You know where he is, run away. 2700 for Wokstick. The money is terrible for Eternal Fire. You can always win a round of an all, but he's picked up an AK. Is he going for this? He's never checking deep right, is he? He's never checking it. Orb completely lost. They've got two rounds. Leave an angle for safe, and he will deliver. Three remain. Hot flash. Eternal fire. This may be death by paper cuts with all this util, but safe may put him out of their misery with the AWP. Going a bit closer now. Wakadia, one versus two. They can play the bomb. They can play the beats now. And Sani having a look down to the 1v1. Drop just needs to wait a few seconds, and then surely it'll be too late. We are going to overtime. Oh, to go. And we get straight into it. They'll stick on that CT side, but safe. Established on the angle early. And that is about as quick a man advantage as you can get. The early advantage is exactly what MIBR need. That much is clear. They find it again. The round turns out much better in these scenarios for MIBR. And here they go. Santares on an island surrounded by the Brazilian squad. This round's done. It might be our continued momentum. They increase the pace. Turn of fire essentially unable to respond here. Do we see any nades to get him off it? Or is he going to have a chance for a pick here? This is his shot, but there's another player around the corner. Kalix in good position with that AK. Delivers on the first. Is Sunny able to trade, but that just allows Woxic back into the angle. Solid trades early there for Eternal Fire. This is where MIBR have struggled. Safe doesn't know how close Wakadia is. He's got the info that he's fishing on the ramp. Are oh, they going to give him something here? And just to get a single peek out of it. They had all the info, but failed to punish. And with a minute on the clock, you wonder what MIBR could do at this point. Oh, Major gets the flash just in time. Now knows that there's... Two people at worst on the B-bomb site. Are those good odds? Good enough odds for Woxic. He's playing defensive for now. The angle's in mid of compromise. He has to focus on that, but with seven seconds on the clock, he's creeping around these smokes. Can he find exit in time? It's a very deep smoke, but he has. He caught him, and it's another round. They win by timeout. Woxic with daylight robbery, a drive-by. see if anything changes. Look at Major up early. Oh, that's a great start for them. He didn't spot that second man, but he take any shots towards him. Drop could be in trouble, down to seven health. And he's I'm not sure. going to get away. He's still in trouble. Oh. They all are. Wakadia is back. If you needed a reminder of... I felt the pain of that myself. 
Eternal Fire. There was no way they were going to allow any, any shenanigans around that bomb plant whatsoever. Oh, the grenades. They've got so much mileage now. Save doing what he can. There's the transfer that was needed, a trade frag rather. Three remain for turn of fire. Those are, those are quite some punctures. We've got some interesting map control. However, it might be I'll have the numbers to hold, but they line up for Woxic and that changes everything. He's between CTs to some degree, but he's got an open bomb site. Major, what a masterful position. And Sani absolutely helpless, safe left in the clutch. He's got a smoke and a molly. Maybe he can find himself a 1v1 in that regard. Got to act quickly though. Does he commit to this one? That might be his best opportunity. Eternal Fire are posting up for the angles and that's going to be that. In overtime, they take it. Eternal Fire. A couple of CTs in position, trying to move forward, but Wakadia finds both of them. And that might just put the round to bed right then and there. At least they have a kit MIBR, but they're so far away from this. Picks up some extra range, but Brennazan's got some range of his own with that USP. More work to be done for MIBR. Odds don't look good for this one. Maybe a smoke grenade could isolate some fights here. Zantares having a look while the wet rest waits. Is there any way they find a smoke defuse here? Smoke has been deployed on that bomb now. Safe's got to get there, but they might stop him with these Glocks. Brennazan's dropped as is safe, as is Droppers. Turn of fire, making their way through the smoke, but there's many other smokes as well. Look how they wiped the bomb site though. Exit's in trouble. He needs to keep this space operational for his squad to come in for the retake. Bomb not planted just yet. And then here we go. There's good util for drop if he can find an angle to throw it. A molly behind that bomb site could really help. He'll be given to exit. So drop can send it. He's the man who knows the angles, I presume. There you go, those angles to the bomb site itself won't have a molly in. They can show and prove or try to. At Kalex and Woxic will both get dropped though. MIBR winning all the jewels on the retake to find their first round. Sani, such a good player. The 5 7 at this range really could be catastrophic for Eternal Fire. That's a very promising start from Brennazan. They haven't even seen a second play, it hasn't been required just yet. They've got enough players on A to even send one out. Find out what's going on outside. Reposition accordingly. You can see Exit keeping an eye on his Antares position. It might be I'm not too curious. And Eternal Fire will run out of time soon. Yeah, 25 seconds. They're still so spread. It looks like Woxic is just going to go and sell this fake on the other side of the map. This should... Oh, this is a, a big gamble for Eternal Fire. They are risking losing more rifles to the CT side. Kind of leaning towards a, a save there with the three weapons, especially considering their money. Win. More on that later. He'll be holding the angle as his teammates spread across the bomb site, and there's Woxic to create some space. The pistols find success again. Even one tech nine is enough for a bad omen for the opponent. Rifles recovered as well in a three on three. This looks great for Eternal Fire. This is the perfect potion for MIBR to lose everything they're carrying right now. This is basically a suicide mission if they go for this. These angles are so bad for them. So, so bad. It's just that that's mixed bag as far as the util goes. Tech 9 rears its ugly head once again. Oh man, everyone to be early, but look at MIBR. They've got three CT stacked on this site. Brennazan ready for them. It's a very rough start for Eternal Fire. Not much money behind this either. That is a disastrous beginning in this round. But great for MIBR. They need to win this in the numbers. They've got no money either. Everybody's hurting a bit.
perfect timing for Mater. He wants to pick up the AK. No reload required either. They basically have to concentrate their efforts somewhere. They have a molly. Where was that? Okay, Santaras has caught safe creeping. And maybe there's a way in. <laughs> I don't know if you want to duel him further. Santares lurking around, not carrying the bomb. Where are the other two, though? There's one, there's the other one. And that's the round shut down. Yarella's down on for the ace right now. Got those first two kills, denying them in that choke point. Santares doing what he can on the other side of the map. I think you see a little... Uh... Starting to move into the A bomb site then. Exit drops, but Insani is still here. Again, he needs to hold this area for the retake, but that may be hard as he is surrounded by flame. Smokes will isolate him as well. But there's no closer challenge just yet. Boxing the plant four on four. Insani, instant transfer. Brennan to clean up. That changes the complexion of this round completely. Bomb is planted. Boxing in the clutch. That pillar won't help him enough. Round six is here for MIBR. Gotta say, we've been singing Insani's praises all tournament long. 38 seconds on the clock for Eternal Fire. They have cut noise. They are in location unknown. They are filling the numbers on this bomb site. And that's Tarez in a huge fight. Kalex is here as well. MIBR have to go for this no matter what. Three on four. Safe still standing with the AWP. They have no util for this retake, just their bodies to throw at the problem. What a problem it is, Woxic with a great angle. Kalex is a good one too, big swing from the MP9, but it won't be enough. Safe needs a miracle to find a way through this one. No kit in his hands, no hell fiver, tied at half time. All favor to MIBR okay, if you are contact, man. Contact has been made in Zantares. With these jewelies up close, waiting for a second opportunity, but he'll be denied by Exit, who's found two so far. Keeps it a three on three, rotation on the way. Woxic making inroads towards the B bomb site, but also wandering about mid. No one's there. Major coming in from the back, and they are looking for him to some degree, but surely he gets a headshot here. Just waiting for him to stop moving. Lovely from Major. Takes him a while to realize. And it's all too late. 42 seconds. Everything goes quiet. And Eternal Fire have to figure out what MIBR are doing. And Major will do just that. Damage onto the second. And he'll get some information for his team. That means Antares can rotate into position. Molly's going to make life difficult for him. But he's still got line of sight here. Finally, that smoke arrives. But he's still going to spam away. They're going to jump over him. Kadir in position, but the Molly not enough to force him away. He does go down afterwards, though. 2v2 on this site. Kalex charging in, the urgency was high. He wanted to find something before they got into their post-plant positions, took the risk before Zantares was ready. And now Zantares finds himself alone. Good damage, but he needs some frags here, trying to find that 1v1. Switching up for the other side, catch is safe. Exit knows he's in trouble now. Goes for the white swing. Big headshot. That's a such an... There's three players leaning to this A side of the map, and it looks like the right read here. So risky to pull out a grenade from this distance. You never know when the swing might come. That HE, though, could be quite something. They've got to follow up on it, though. Now it's just down to Major. Drop will trade. So awkward it looked like in that round from Eternal Fire. Combined $50 for Wakadians and Tarez. And he will be heard. He will be followed. Safe has to be careful, though, with 16 HP. Line up a pop flash. And who knows what could be. Wakadia swings afterwards to no avail. Emergency. Whoa. Press the big red button. We've got problems on the B bomb site. The util as well. Four on three. Rifles in the hands of two players at least. Look at the money for Eternal Fire. We've seen this scenario before. If they commit to this, they could lose everything. They could even lose the game. They might not recover from the loss here. Major sends it straight in past Brennazan, finds him with the 180. Now MIBR are outside the choke points. There's one smoke at least for Major. There are kits as well. This could just work out for Eternal Fire. Starting that defuse, someone's got to get on that spray. 
No one's getting that bomb diffuser though. And just like that, out in the open with some help from the smoke. Oh, so many targets for him as well. Rounds the corner just in time. Kalex is here to help hold the bomb site. He's been lost. Woxic trying to pre-fire him. They bait the shots at least. He's lost his angle. But they've got the man advantage eternal fire. They need to hold that higher area. It's so important Whoa. for them. Zantares goes down to CT3 emerging as that bomb is planted. And look at the frags raining for MIBR. Woxic with 12 HP. Needs, does he go for this clutch though? How does he not wait? He's on the bomb site. He's found a 1v1. Not expecting a second on the site. Drop should have this one for free. He should. But will he? Oh no. Oh no, Surely not like this. Not. Surely not like this! Have you no morals? Have you no code? Trying to see through the smoke. Oh. That was a beefy nade. Kadia was on just a little under half health there. <laughs> Punctured like a football on a motorway. Santares has been eager to get into action in these last couple of rounds, but I think too eager. Jiggling around that corner, he goes down. And this looks almost certain for MIBR to take this map and take us to a third. Mirage Decider, Orb Paradise. Death by paper cuts, one by one. MIBR have taken no damage in this round just yet. They've just been picking pieces of Eternal Fire like a scab on a knee. Eternal Fire will bleed. Alex then has got so much to do. There's the trade from Exit, and MIBR will force a third and deciding map to see who goes to the final. Another competitive map in this series, but it is MIBR able to close out their Same map. Presence in mid for the time being in Sani, coming in from the T spawn. That's a big frag to drop with Kady and a pistol around. He's so good in them. Five on three then, Julie's are here for Brennazan on the bomb site. They've lost a lot of angles here. Eternal Fire fighting in mid, but what of the A bomb site? There's no kit on these four players, but surely they can draw Eternal Fire out, who goes through the smoke to his demise major. Santara's not far behind. Kalex has no angles and little hope. Hey, cheese and plenty of CTs coming his way. Smokes. Oh dear. They won't check for exit. The trigger discipline. He's got to save his teammate though. He had to act immediately. Looks to his up. He'll be dropped. Three on two. Major is gone, and Kalex might be 20 seconds. And then Sani will have it for free. The age old question on Mirage you've got mid control. What do you want to do with it? Beyond Enazan caught with awkward timing looking at the ladder. Zantares might be in trouble. Drop quickly doubles down. Combo meal deal for drop. Being very careful about his positioning as well. Was he spotted from short, I wonder? Perhaps he was. Kalex certainly sees him now. Drop doing as the, the most he can. Safe is also here. Going for a quick peek between scopes. Shows some shoulder. Finds the position now. Wondering about the second. It's Macadia coming in from the back of jungle. But he can't find the timing to get that frag. Safe is so blind. Wakadia still on that flank. Is anybody going to check for this? He might find two. And Sani turns around at just the right time. And that has to be the difference maker. This timing is brutal for Eternal Fire. Not for the first time either. Kalex left alone. One on three. 25 seconds. Bomb to be collected. CT's moving back enough. Committed angle here from drop right now. Will reposition, but that's just as a player comes in from short. The nade is good, but Biot Anazan will get run down. That's the B site lost quickly. And a real opportunity here for Eternal Fire to get their first round on the board. Oh, Major can't get that kill. Exit turns it round. And now MIBR a man up for this retake, but two of them are so low. Block is ticking, kit for everyone. Who goes in first? Who takes the risk? It's Insani. He's got to make space for his team. A deagle for Kalex. 
been spotted now. Two on two, make it one. Calix and headshots hand in hand. They'll move in and lose everything. Eternal fire off. He may come up front here. There is something for him to find. That's a lot of position taken as well, especially his exits dropped by jungle. Eternal fire looking reasonable for a second here. Numbers dwindling now as Drop tries to find a multi frag playing around the smokes as best he can. But he'll be gone before safe can help him. Looking for info with that HE. Nothing doing. Drop is here for support as well. There will be concerns towards short though, as mid has been well and truly compromised. Will that flank come fast enough? That's a big frag from safe. Skates on for Brennerzan and Exit. They've got to get there and they've got to get there quickly. The bomb's stuck in the apartments for now. And safe will drop Woxic very easily for commitment. This is the round where a eternal fire was supposed to break MIBR, but it's got nothing to show for it just yet. Sick. Great flick onto safe. Brenner's to trade. Three on three. Drop still waiting to get going. Now Zantares has to surely focus on the bomb site. He's been waiting for that lurk this whole time. Still in connector. And there is drop to finish him off. Wakadia one versus three. No one on the bomb just yet. Brenner's to drop the men with the kits. And the team with the round, eight to two for MIBR. Reminds me of a Cloud9 pistol round from like 10 years ago. There's the flash, there's the swing. MIP would have him back then this time. It is eternal fire. Major spotted in short. Can Brennan trade? He can. That's a really important frag for him. Sees the bomb now, but they've lost position on that bomb site. That's a great angle from Calix at the top through the window. Dropping the sniper. Insani and Exit then, trying to dodge as best they can. That's a great start for Insani. Such a dangerous player lurking around these smokes, as is Wakadia. How about that round the other side? Perfect from Wakadia. Leaving Exit in the clutch. Creeping around that smoke. No one showing. Is there a play for a ninja here? Wakadia's a non-believer, but he'll win the duel. He's for MIBR on this occasion. Exit and safe, holding one each. Where will they sail? Towards CC it will be. Kalix finding two first Four. three. Kalix with pistols. Highlight machine is Kalix. His team will have to pick up the slack though, because he has been dispatched. Insani and exit. Oh, needs a pistol. Pistol needs a reload. Two on three. Exit's got a flash. Doesn't have the most ideal range with the Glock. They double peak default here. Zantares getting into position. Will Insani, he won't because Zantares says no. Exit now. Has to make a play on A. That bomb's in the middle of the bomb site. It's going to be a long minute unless Wakadia finishes off the job, which he will. We've got Wakadia here to help him, but the flash is making things awkward here. Rotate has arrived. Woxic able to help out on this B bomb site. MIBR still not with full control. The trades continue. It is chaos right now. Boxic doesn't know someone snuck into short. Bion Enazan gives his team the advantage. There's no more CTs on the site itself. That could be the frag which heavily puts things in MIB MIBR's favor. But that bomb's on the floor. MIBR feel uncomfortable. CTs have to be somewhere. The angles have to be somewhere. No use though left for the T's. Tanking damage as they go to collect that bomb. And here's a HE. Ooh, just fast it. Down to three HP. Talk about margins. There's another one. MIBR turning things back in their favor. Calix now, one versus two. He knows a trade fragger has to be somewhere, but they don't seem to know where he is. Gets one for free. Speaking of free, three HP for safe. Got to find a headshot. Calix creeping without a kit. Safe wondering. There's the kit. There are the footsteps. Safe staying quiet. Oh, and that's a big snap. Such a fast one from Calix. Has he got the kit? I he think he has. He got it. Oh, it didn't even run. He's around the oh. corner. It's exit with the headshot and the follow through. It might just and miss. Smell you later. Three on three. 48 seconds, time for Eternal Fire to reset their positions. Kalix moving deeper into A. As he dare go up into Palace. That could be a strong position. Three players in mid for now, looking to clear his six. 
and find that no one is there. Might be our three picks towards short. Nades in the window. Rakadia will be the second of three to head towards the late bomb site. That leaves Major on an island. That's in short. He's been spotted and down he goes. They've lost position to Eternal Fire. Kalex has $300 in the bank. Do they commit to this retake? Through the shop. Your chances are low. And that's being polite. One kid on the two players. They can't lose everything. Xantares and Major can buy. They need to keep these rifles up. Sure, it's landed exactly where it needed to. And look at that angle from Xantares. Sneaky one over the top. Eternal fire with a man advantage, but Major's just take a big damage. Oh! That's to two. Seven to two. Five damage from the Molly as the smoke goes off. He is a lucky man for now, but the tease continue to come. Santares now making space for his teammates to rotate in. That bomb's been left, though, for his other players to pick up, so he won't be fully committed to this one just yet, but have a look at the flank coming in. Well, is it a flank anymore? He's the only man standing, and Woxic will deliver. Great spatial awareness from Woxic. There's a palace smoke for you, and here are a lot more. Will be the response from Eternal Fire. Standard fight or play retake. We've got two players by triple for Eternal Fire. Will there be bench flashes for them? Maybe. But they're led from exit. And Rockstick will be forced to make an exit from that bomb site. Five on three. The money's dicey for Eternal Fire. How much do they invest into this? They've only got three players left. They might have to back out. Surely someone's got to call it. Yeah, they've realized they cannot afford to go in for this oh, one. He knows someone's there. Santara is trying to race. He only scored one. There are three. There is a bounty to be collected here on Ramp for Eternal Fire. But Santarez is collected instead. Three on three. They can still hold this bomb site. Bombs on the floor for now. Safe and drop remain. Surely it doesn't go wrong here for MIBR. Surely it's not another overtime. Looking for Major and finding him. Falling back before the trade can come. Seeing a bit of Woxic. Hear anything there? They're moving together. He's got a he's got a chance at this. He definitely has a chance. That was so fast from Safe. What a snap! Woxic with the Famas has got so much to do, and he does it. We aren't done yet. That's an insane clutch from him. Uncomfortable for all on the server. So this time MLB are faking this A play, but the bomb's going to come back to B, and it's only Major here. Delivering over the smoke, he's found the second one. That is great work he's done. Enough time for Akeda to get into position to get wrecked by safe with the AWP. He needs rotation. He can't plant a bomb. One of his teammates is on the A-bomb site. He gets dropped by a very patient Kalix. And that bomb's planted. They don't know where Exit is, surely. Lurking in mid, and he'll catch Kalix on that rotation. Woxic knows he's got a small window for a 1v1. He's got to get his skates on. He's got to race to find Safe's position. Jumping with the Glock. Almost inevitable. That Around one's the that ramp and Palace position. The smokes, the HE start to come out of focus on that connector area. So vulnerable for MIBR. Only three remain now. And they feel stuck. And Sani an exit. With very little room to play. Drop could be a key factor if his team can stay alive. But can they? We've got lurkers in Santares. So many spare men for Eternal Fire. They start to look for them, though. How about that for a peek? That'll run distraction now, and surely Drop can play off of that. They'll never be looking for him. The discipline on the trigger. Only gets the one. Walks it, looks behind them to no avail. Three on Ooh. three now, as Wakadia's position is so strong. Major on three HP exit, somehow still alive. So awkward, but the numbers keep dropping for Eternal Fire. And then there were two for both squads. Major posted up on the stairs. Covering angles for Kalix, we could focus on the low ground. There are, of course, kits for these players. Moving closer to default now as Kalix wonders where they're coming from. Catches in Sani, he's been good. Now Major starts to move to Tetris. That bomb is taking exits. Got to speed up here. 14 apiece, Eternal Fire, tie the score again. See that name was thrown. Waiting to see if the fight's given to him, but it's Zantares to activate in the meantime. Good shot from Safe, and MIBR bring it right back, but it's the B play that Drop needs to be ready for. Such an important disengagement from Drop, and look how he repositions. He buys time, he stays alive, he holds the real estate, and Safe comes in to save him as well. Wonderful stuff. If he, if he stood his ground and died there, we might see a different round. position to trade this frag. Not going to be easy, though. Oh, he's got grenades in his hand. 
That was a brutal time not to land a shot on a target. Oh. They will be barbecued, dropping in Sania here. They've got plenty of work to do. Risk being taken, racing to get into position inside. He's got to find something, but to his right is Kalix with yet another frag, heading towards the 30 bomb now. Exit versus three. Kalix creeping, looking for 28. And Wokzik will deliver. Oh, Major goes into the open as it gets wiped. Xsafe might have wiped that twice so that Major wasn't expecting it. And Stani able to get one, but Exit not able to help off the back of him. And now he could be in trouble. Two different sides to deal with, but the smoke up keeps him safe. Eventually, Wokzik pounces. Two Finally, a solo duel by the bomb carrier, which is one. We've seen so many collapses in that position. Woxic stuck by Tetris, Santara is still creeping, looking for that second CT. And it's only going to get worse. There'll be less and less places to plant this bomb. The beeps begin now. As Brennazan patiently waits. Woxic looking towards that ramp. Getting domed immediately. Where is Zantares? In that short position. There is a smoke for Brennazan, but where does he deploy it? We haven't seen much of Zantares. He hasn't fired a bullet in this round, at least not with this AK. Smoke is up, and now they know where he is. The jig is up as well. Drops here to swing, but he finds two of them. A headshot for drop and all the lead required. Yeah, heading towards the other side of the map now. As Exit gets into position. That has been a problem on the T side of M for MIBR on this overtime. Lost many a duel to Kalix, but Woxic is dropped first. Big presence now, fast moving rounds. Santaris gets his bell rung, but he's still got 88 HP. 37 seconds left, orb collected, but inside he's got the angle. Look at Drop's position. This may collapse for eternal fire unless time becomes their friend. Kalix needs help, be it flashes, be it guns, but it won't come in time. Bacadia now. So many targets, that bomb needs to get planted. Dodges the flashbang, there's more junk coming his way. Trying to find an angle, but Exit will stop him. They know where the last man is now, and the bomb will be planted safely as safe. Will brazenly finish off the job. Match point is here again. Two opportunities this time. Full rotation. Bacadia on the way as well. Smokes are up, Woxit creeping into a better angle. Catches Brennazan. Four on four flashes. Molotov, more flashes, chain flashes, trades. Two on three, MIBR on the back foot, heading towards 20 second mark. CT is not secured. Our flank is here as well. Are they gonna wow. them? They're gonna go past everything to that B bomb site, but hold on a second. Look at these angles. This is so desperate from the T side. And then it was just exit 14 HP, but the numbers are. MIBR not happy with proceedings, decide to reroute. They still have exit on the lurk with some map control, so they'll move back to mid. Look for another option. Remember, there is still that second orb of Wicadia, and they could be about to walk into it. Same but different. Having a look in Connector, and Wicadia's in for a nasty surprise. Palace has to be held then, otherwise Woxic's got no cover. But look at the delivery from Woxic! Oh! 4K from Woxic. They played the spawns. Wakadia activating underneath. It's up in the apartments as well. Drop could be in real trouble here. He's done for. Nothing to do. Not even a gun in hand. We haven't seen one of these teams win all three rounds in the first half of an overtime. If Eternal Fire do it here. They'll finally have their chances to close. It's been all MIBR in overtime. Their hearts might be about to get broken unless they can turn this round. You have to wonder if anything is left in the tank for this MIBR squad. Insani still working, but they've got to avoid Woxic. He is delivering every round now. And that bomb has to make it over, but no one's peeking just yet. Some space created. Distraction being run, looking over the top. 28 seconds and Sunny's got time to flank here, but oh. Wakadia's ready for it. Exit in the clutch then, 1v3. A desperate round required. 
Looking for a fake bomb plant a bit too early there. And now time becomes oh so more desperate. The grenades are here. No one's peeking. They've got safety in numbers. The bomb plant doesn't matter. It's just about the round. And they take all of them in that half. Three match points now for Eternal Fire. We can hear many grenades being readied in those halls. Renazan, he's trying to avoid these flashbangs. Safe really saves him there. Bacadia takes one in the back. Down to 20 HP. Breno trying to suggest someone's at that bench position. Give themselves an extra man, but the tracking doesn't work for drop. 20 seconds to get this bomb planted. Two on four. There's a lot required of Eternal oh. Fire. And that's a lot that Kalex has just done. Talk about creating space. These positions are not good for MIBR. Surely not like this. They had so many men up. Exit's got to find this angle on Woxic, and he will do exactly that. Kalex in a clutch now, looking for the ace. Denied on this occasion. That's a scary one if you're an MI MI MIBR fan. My word. Well, yeah, that's how Eternal Fire have been winning a fair few of these rounds, just with individual moments of magic, moments of brilliance. But this one came in a round where Eternal Fire... Exit's under Palace here. This Molly is aimed for him. Well, that's one way to deliver. Major with no armor, wide swinging, delivering the headshots at match point for Eternal Fire. Arcadia is the one to drop on a bomb plant attempt, and there's carnage and chaos around this bomb site. Smokes are everywhere, and so are the CTs riddling the site with bullets. Major's been dropped, no surprises there. Three on three, Woxic with angles. Kalix getting dropped in the meantime. Urgent for MIBR. Woxic is going to be a factor in this game. He spots the jump peak drop. Entertaining, but Woxic knows where to look. Two on two now. Safe creeping up the stairs. Woxic so dangerous. And now it's down to Safe. He's in the clutch. He has to win this for his team. Otherwise, they are done so. Not sure where to look. Running out of time. Can't find the tease. Spots the shadow of Woxic, who will finish off the job. 37 frags for him. Eternal Fire make it to the finals. What a way to make it through to the final. E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui!